We want to get back to our top story where another house is being added to a list of recent arsons in Shenandoah. Newswatch 16's Claire Alfrey shows us the community is worried about which home may be next. This is what's left of the vacant house on East Cherry Street in Shenandoah after a fire that state police call a case of arson. According to the borough's fire chief, Rick Eximitis, the fire started in the attic minutes after midnight. No one had lived here for years. The fire is now the fourth arson in Shenandoah since December 30th. They've all happened at vacant houses, including one on Furnace Street on March 7th. The owners of Catazone's barber shop says the fires have been a topic of conversation among his customers. They're just not happening because of the wiring or anything else like that. It's just somebody's lighting them. Catazone worries about his daughter and grandchildren who live near where one of the arsons happened. I'd be worried, you know, if I was by a, <clears throat> an empty house or something like that, I'd be... I'd be trying to buy it to tear it down or to board it up good. With this now being the fourth vacant home that's caught on fire in Shenandoah, people of the borough are concerned, saying they don't know which house now will be next. It's like a house fire, like that's one thing when I was growing up I always feared, um, especially because now that I have four children of my own, you know what I mean? So it's like always in the back of my mind, like if something would happen to my kids in a fire, like hopefully that somebody would be able to be there you know, to get them out safely. The arsons in Shenandoah are still under investigation. It's not clear if authorities suspect the fires are connected. Claire Alfred, Newswatch 16, Schuylkill County.